What's up everybody and welcome to today's new video where in this one we're talking about mitigation specifically mitigation in market maker models now the reason I say ICT kept this a secret from you is because I don't see him really talk about this on his YouTube and it wasn't until I dived into his private content which is available I'm sure you can find it if you really want it when I heard him talk about mitigation on the buy side of the curve when we're sell, well, when we're looking to sell the market maker sell model so i heard him talk about this in them commentaries and if you really want to find them they're out there somewhere but in this video we're going to be covering that for you today now put simply mitigation on one side of the curve allows us to predict which side which levels will hold on the other side of the curve so let's say for example here we have a down close candle which was used on the buy side of the curve so the logic behind this is that institutions were long in this as we created this down close candle institutions were going long into a higher time frame key level which is a daily fair value gap above this high and then we look for a market maker sell model now we have this the smart money reversal here and a low risk sell when we trade back into this order block and I want to take your attention to this down close candle. Now, this is what I refer to when I talk about mitigation. So remember, institutions bought when this down close candle was made. And then on the other side, listen to this carefully, we can reasonably expect those same levels that institutions bought at to hold for selling. So the previous buying is now used as selling. As you can see, we wick into this fair value gap. And why is this fair value gap used instead of one of these or upside up here or this inside here? Well, because of this down close candle. So the mitigation happens on that side and we come over and tap into it twice. Now, my favorite entries for the market maker models are just mitigation blocks. They're simply as we trade back into these mitigation areas, I like to sell them. You can see we got a tap twice and then we ran and then you look we don't take out the equal lows at the bottom of the original consolidation here we have consolidation return to consolidation accumulation and then on the other side accumulation second stage and it runs lower once we break this low you can see that we leave equal lows inside here and we have the original consolidation now we are in a higher time frame sell program so we look for these to be taken out as we trade back up our eyes go back to the buy side of the curve to look where to sell on the sell side of the curve now if you look inside here we have three down close candles which as we all know institutions went long on these candles now if we extend out in time with the gray box you can see that once we leave the equal lows down here i want to see us retrace to here and then we break down lower order block trades into breaks lower and then takes out the original consolidation lows and these lows that were created and engineered for that specifically so you can see here that the basis of the video is the down close candles on the buy side of the curve being used on the sell side of the curve to be able to predict where to sell now it is the same for a market maker buy model where the up close candles on the buy side of the curve will be used as mitigation on the other side and that is the next example we'll be diving into now we are on the nasdaq four hour chart and we are looking for a 15 minute market maker buy model to occur you can see we traded up and then retraced into this order block here now this becomes our original consolidation on the 15 minute we're going to drop down and look where we can find the mitigation to be able to buy where institutions previously sold now as you can see here we're on the 15 minute chart and we have our smart money reversal down here we once we take out this low below here with this we can now look for some order flow to establish itself now remember we are looking for mitigation so where do you see mitigation on the sell side of the curve over here until the smart money reversal my eye goes straight to here these three candles here, these three candles here are used on the other side of the chart where we trade above. And then once we trade above, we can expect these to hold. We don't need to come back down here because we've already taken sell side liquidity out of this low. 
Now we expect this mitigation block to hold and we are buyers inside there. Now, if you miss this move, it's not the end of the world because we're so close to the smart money reversal, there will be more opportunities. If you miss the move, what do we do? We look on the sell side of the curve and where is the up close candle this time? Where is the up close candle where institutions previously sold? As you can see, we have this one here. Now, if you simply take the body of it, because the wicks are so long, I would take the body in this instance. Look what happens. As soon as we trade above it, price trades above it here and closes. It wicked in, wicked in again. We had a wick in to this fair value gap inside here. So as soon as this would have wicked in, I would have bought inside there because the mitigation on the other side is traded through and then used as classic support and resistance should be used. So this is classic support now traded through retracement back into it one more time into the wick of it and then we trade up clearing out the buy side liquidity up here also before we clear out the buy side liquidity look what happens once more up close candle price trades through it now you can be a buyer inside here again with your stop loss below it simple but effective Remember, mitigation on one side of the curve, once traded through, becomes our support. We should not want to see that break. As long as you've got an accurate draw on liquidity, that should hold. And remember, until we take out the original consolidation, we can expect all of these candles to hold as mitigation. Institutions sold, trades through, now they are buyers on the other side. It's really simple. And we can also take it even lower, where... We have these mitigation blocks and then once traded into, we can break down into a smaller time frame like the one minute chart and look for a one minute market maker buy model in that example. Now, let's say we were buyers inside here. Where would we look for? That's the external liquidity down there. Buyers inside this mitigation, that external liquidity there and then this high up here. So I hope that makes sense for you guys. And I hope it was I was able to simplify this for you. Now, if you did enjoy the video, please do leave a like and comment. If you're new here, please do subscribe as most of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. And yeah, thank you for watching. My links to everything are in the description and I will catch you in the next one. Thank you as always for watching.